A new poll from New Hampshire has Florida Governor Ron DeSantis ever so slightly ahead of former President Donald Trump among Republican primary voters in a matchup there. 39% for DeSantis, 37% for Trump. That same poll just months ago showed Trump leading with 43%, DeSantis at 18%. Back now with CNN anchor Chris Wallace. Chris, you know, Frank Luntz told Caitlin earlier today he sees this as a possible sign that Republican voters want to move on maybe from Trump. Yeah, and I think, John, that that could very possibly be the biggest impact of these hearings, that it just adds to Trump fatigue. They, they, they you know, voters aren't going to say, I changed my mind on what Donald Trump did over the last four years. Uh, you know, I vote against him against Joe Biden. I think it may just be people say, can we find Trumpism without having to deal with the baggage, with uh, all of the drama of Donald Trump? And, uh, you know, if you were casting about for a Trump alternative, Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, who has a lot of the same policies and a lot of the same bravado, but not a lot of the same baggage, uh, might be a pretty good choice. Well, I think that raises the question of what we're going to see in this field coming up when it comes to Republicans, this idea that people believe that Trump is going to run and potentially, you know, be up against a Ron DeSantis, a close ally of his, a Pence and that. And so if you're Trump and you're seeing this poll, what does that mean for you going forward? Well, I mean, nothing immediately. First of all, it's only two points. It's within the margin of error. It's two years out. Trump doesn't lack from self, for self-confidence. But, you know, you do have to wonder... I mean, what's the dirtiest word in Donald Trump's lexicon? Loser. And yeah. the idea that, you know, despite what he said, he was a loser to Joe Biden. Now he could be a loser a second time and maybe, you know, not even get to the NCAA finals. He doesn't even get to the final four. He's busted in New Hampshire or something like that. You know, if you're the president or the, 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 the former president and you can't, you know, you were to lose in some of the early primaries. I mean, that is one of the questions I have about about Trump is if he if he comes into 23 and late into 23 and decides, you know, there's a real chance I could lose and lose in some of these primaries, will he have the stomach for that? Chris, I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but I had Joe Cunningham, former Democratic congressman and current nominee, Democratic nominee for governor of South Carolina, who just put out a campaign video where he campaigned against the idea of people older than 72 being in office. And he told me that he doesn't think that Joe Biden should run for re-election. This is the Democratic nominee of South Carolina. What do you think of that as a campaign strategy? Well, you know, I, I, as a question, I find it personally offensive, John, since I'm older <laughs> than, <laughs> than 72. Um, you know, I, I, look, uh, these are unimaginable ages of these people that are running. I remember I, I covered Ronald Reagan, and he, uh, he, he turned, he was elected at 69. He became president at 70. He left office at 78. And this was new territory because prior to him, the oldest president we'd ever had was Dwight Eisenhower, uh, who I either just turned 70 or not after eight years in the White House. I mean, when you're talking about Trump, who I think would be 78, in 2024, and, and uh, Biden, who would be 82 and worry to run, as somebody said, closer to 90 at the end of his term than, than 82. It, it seems to me it's an absolutely legitimate issue. I mean, in the end, you know what? And thank God, voters decide what they think is the right issue, what's legitimate or not. But I could certainly see where, as we saw with Kennedy back in 1960, a new generation of leadership. You heard a little bit about that from Cunningham in his interview with you. Uh, an eternally youthful Chris Wallace. <laughs> we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you. You bet.